everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac. We are just going to randomize our character here and hope that we get something good. Judas, well, I, this is uh, befitting, because in the last episode I, it was called the excuse run, because I finally wanted an excuse to play as Judas, so I just chose him, and uh, you know, under the guise of it being a challenge run, now, uh, apparently we don't need excuse, an excuse, I should say, but this is good, because I love playing as Judas. Uh, we will get back to standardized challenge runs, or not standardized, but standard, you know, style challenge runs. Uh, in the near future, but I like to do uh, some vanilla runs. So the first Isaac runs of the day, just to get myself back in the groove, you know. And we'll get into some challenge runs later once I'm a little bit more confident in my skills. So again, occasionally the flash frame rate gets a little weird here. Flash frame rate also sounds like a like super villain for the Fraps age. Like a flash frame rate would be like, we make your videos drop frames and your streams get laggy and your Twitch viewers complain. It's the perfect crime. All right, I'm actually almost dead here. And without any bombs, I don't really have any recourse to do anything except, uh, yeah, just pop Book of Belial, hopefully kill Pin really quickly, uh, and, again, hope that this kind of weird little janky animation works itself out fairly soon. I actually died, or very nearly died. I, I died a little on the inside, uh, when that shot almost hit me, but we managed to get away, and that's okay. Just don't get hit by the green bomb, and you'll be alright. A couple more hits should be able to do it here. I was really hoping he would pop out in the same area, and he didn't. Uh, we did not get an HP upgrade. In fact, getting a Tears upgrade is not bad. Uh, but it really doesn't provide us with a superb benefit this early on in the game. So let's hope that we manage to pick something up uh, beyond this Spirit Heart that guarantees our survival. Or at least, you know, makes it more possible that we're going to survive. We did manage to open up this uh, chest with the uh, Tower Card there, which makes it a little bit more valuable than your standard Tower Card, uh, whose value largely exists on, uh, you know, in the comedic sense of me probably hitting myself with my own... Uh, Bizarre to a certain extent. Anyway, let's just back it up and around here. I actually can't remember how the last run went. I'm pretty sure we lost, but I think I put up a, a good fight, which is good because, you know, we did have three runs in a row where we actually beat the game. So, you know, it, it's unlikely that I'm going to continue with that uh, form. It's pretty standard, uh, pretty stellar, I should say. Pretty non standard, really. Uh, but if I manage to at least play okay, then I consider it to be a little bit of a success. So let's just knock these dudes out. Uh, we've already been to the item room. The item room contained uh, something that didn't provide me with too much value, I suppose. Have we not been to the item room? What did I pick up in the item room? Why do I not feel like I got something amazing there? Maybe we have to go back in. Did I make a mistake and not pick it up? Or am I just having like the world's biggest brain fart? We got... I'm just looking at my character right now. We definitely got... Um, the... Oh, that was a really silly mistake there. We definitely got... Uh, the 8-ball... But sadly, we seem to be lacking something else. I, was, I thought it might have been Book of Belial, but then I remember that we started as Judas, who automatically starts with Book of Belial. I have no idea. Joker is an interesting card. I'll probably save that uh, for now, because it doesn't really provide as much benefit when we don't have any other heart containers. I pro ah, There was no better place to put that. We might as well walk into the shop, because we've already, you know, kind of opened it. And at the, on the bright side, we're not missing out on the Steam sale. Or sorry, we're not missing out on the compass of the map or anything like that. There is still a little bit more exploration to be done here. Cellar 1 shouldn't be a huge floor, but it does look, you know, at this point, maybe a little bit bigger than your average cellar floor. Just one remaining poop provides us with nothing. How about this one? I've got to wait to use this Joker card until we end up on a floor uh, where I have at least two hearts, I suppose. Alright, well, there was something in there. I don't know what it is, but... Or, you know, we could go totally crazy and just immediately try to go to that deal with the devil room even though I don't have any heart containers to spare and could possibly end up with negative health I think it's a bad idea though we also you know generally you want to fight the boss before you use the Joker card just to ensure that you don't actually like use the Joker card when you were gonna get a deal with the devil anyway but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that as it comes that's gonna be uh, probably the crux of our strategy if we do manage to get HP upgrades moving forward because guaranteeing yourself a deal with the devil oftentimes means uh, picking up a good item that can actually have a very uh, I was gonna say cataclysmal but uh, that's not what I mean a significant impact on your success, shall we say. Sorry, I just woke up, still had zero coffee. The language center is in my brain. You know, the, the Wernicke's area, the Broca's zone, are still uh, booting up here is maybe a good way to put it. It also feels like my computer's still booting up because of the silly frame rate. Is this a two of clubs? We'll just pop it right away, two bombs. Uh, mostly just so we can hold on to the Joker card and I won't accidentally leave it on the floor. Uh, we only have one key because I accidentally opened the shop on the last floor, which is uh, an accident that hopefully will not come back to bite me in the ass. Alright, there is a lot of potential opportunities to uh, oh, use some keys to get potential items here, but sadly I don't really want to make that happen right now. Let's just fight Monstro first, we'll see if we get a deal with the devil, we'll see if we get an HP upgrade, uh, and then we'll, uh, you know, go down the flowchart there. If we get an HP upgrade but no deal with the devil, I will probably pop the Joker card. If we get a, a deal with the devil... 
but no HP upgrade. I will probably go in and see what's going on and maybe hope we fight Krampus just so we can get a free lump of coal. Uh, well, this is interesting. We do have the coin purse. Four different pills. This could be anything. So pill one, balls of steel. Big fan. Pill two, automatically became balls of steel. Even bigger fan. Pill three was a range down and pill four, bad gas. Fair trade. I, I guess we just walk into the boss room then, see what's up. Um, you know, I'm not going to. I thought about it. I was like, you know, we can get Sister Maggie and then we'll have uh, just Spirit Hearts, which is not good for now. But once we get permanent Polaroid Invincibility, that'll be good. But then I was like, you know what? Then you're just throwing kind of a, a health upgrade like this one heart container down the drain. And you might be able to use that a little bit later to help you get an even better deal with the Devil item. Oh my god, I can't believe I got hit there. I can totally believe I got hit there, actually. Let's be honest. Um, we'll see what we've got in here. Lord, if, oh, if I'd known that... I, I guess we could go pick up Rage now. Uh, but is Rage worth picking up? I'm Judas. It's probably a good idea. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it ended up paying out reasonably well. It's a good question. We know what we have. We know that we... Uh, let's go through the rest of the floor first. I definitely want to see if we got more money here because this could allow us to go to the shop if we get another key. We also have, like, golden chests that I want to pop open. Um, I guess we should walk into the room and just see if the deal with the devil's still there. It rarely is, but... Uh, might be worth a shot regardless. It's kind of an interesting situation. We'll see what happens though. I'm glad we got Lard there. Our speed is not fantastic, but that, you know, we can always rectify that in the future. Hopefully we get a key here, just so the shop all of a sudden becomes a little bit more viable. Um, well, the nickel is actually an awesome drop as well, but we need the key to actually make that work for us when it comes to going to the uh, shop. Or, you know, opening up the golden chest before the mob trap room or opening up the golden chest in the mob trap room. We got a lot of, if I could get a golden key, that would be fantastic. And in fact, it might be look, worth looking for the secret room just to see if we managed to get like a skeleton key or something. Cursed Skull, I actually kind of hate, so I'm going to skip over that. I think it's a, a trinket that is maybe not objectively negative, but I really don't like it most of the time. Hmm. We have an interesting situation on our hands here. Uh, I, I will look for the secret room. There's only three possible locations that I can see. We got it on the first one, which is fantastic. We got a little bit more money. I was kind of hoping it was the other one so we could, like, bomb our way into the shop. Now we got to think about this with zero keys. Well, there's not much we can do about that. You know what? I am going to... We'll walk into the room just to see if the deal with the devil's still there. If it is, we'll pick up Rage, uh, and that'll allow us to be a little bit stronger moving forward. I, it, I'm pretty pissed off that we are going to end up missing out on a number of uh, golden chests here. But, you know, sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles. We'll pick up Rage. Again, at, at this point, I am a little bit tempted to pick up the uh, Sister Maggie as well, but I don't know if that's the smartest decision for us right now. Why do I have to walk all the way back here as well? But uh, anyway, we got Rage. It's uh, an item that you could usually get just for free from an item room, but uh, I don't mind picking that up from the Deal with the Devil room either, especially considering we managed to pick up Lard there. We basically, we picked up Lard. We traded a speed downgrade for Rage, if you want to like go through the, the amortization table of how that transaction went, went out. Uh, and I'm okay with that, honestly. Uh, I, I prefer damage to speed, but it's worth noting that speed is one of those attributes... Oh, that almost got me. Speed is one of those attributes where, um, you know, having high speed isn't necessarily going to save your life, but having super low speed 100% absolutely can kill you. So we've got to be uh, a little bit wary about getting a second speed down, which could come in the form of a pill, uh, basically without us even expecting it. So now... Obviously, I would love to boost my base damage as well. That's one of the, the principal things that can hold us back on this run. Beyond that, we need to find some way to get extra health. You know what was in the item room on the first floor? The miter. I should have known that just from looking on the back of my character's uh, head. The fresca behind him. And we got the sun card. That's uh, not especially valuable when you lack a lot of heart containers, but I'm, I'm glad that we have it regardless. Uh, with the amount of money that we have and the fact that I'm just going to be blowing up this tinted rock anyway, probably a good idea. Hey, there's a little bit of be better base damage for us. Uh, hopefully this guy will pay out with a key and also maybe compass. It's, it's possible. The battery, actually, that is a, a solid upgrade as well. We basically, that was one of the best value propositions I think I've ever had from a room. Tinted Rock gave me small rock and a spirit heart. Then, the, like, it also opened up the bridge to Judgment. I gave Judgment two cents and he gave me a battery. That was pretty fantastic. We probably had better, uh, but I, I am loath to think of it because, you know, that, that involves going back through over 500 episodes. Probably like 490 until I figured out what Judgment did anyway. You know what? I am going to trade the bomb for the key in this situation because it seems to make sense to uh, facilitate us going to the shop with 21 cents. Even if we fight greed and we don't, uh, this is okay for us. And you know what? We have absolutely enough money for me to buy the Spirit Heart uh, and then leave and hopefully buy something even better on the next floor. Obviously, Notch Tax, not really my cup of tea because it's garbage, uh, but... It's possible that we'll be able to get something better in a future shop. 
If I get another five cents on this floor, uh, you know, from a secret room or something along those lines, probably unlikely considering uh, we have zero bombs with which to find the secret room. But stranger things have happened. Uh, if we end up find, oh, if we get another five cents, I was gonna say we'll buy another key, but now it actually might not be uh, all that necessary. Although you know, it's still better safe than sorry when it comes to keys and bombs. Keys are more valuable for the most part, at least in the early game, but uh, both of them valuable as you move a little bit later on. Uh, there's another key right there. Fantastic. All right, so let's see what we've got in our boss room. It's going to be Pestilence, which I'm not crazy happy about. That was a really good bomb from him, even though it didn't hit me. So I'm going to pop Book of Belial. I really want Pestilence to uh, kind of drop a bomb on me over here, uh, at, at which point I will be able to not use a bomb to open up that Tinted Rock. It actually worked out fantastically. We'll get two more Spirit Hearts. Uh, we will not get another HP upgrade here, which is disappointing. But maybe we can get a one-heart deal with the Devil for Mom's Knife. Stranger things have happened. Uh, no, we're not going to get any deal with the devil at all, but that's okay. You know, I'm, I'm still pleased with the way this floor has gone regardless. Uh, we picked up the battery, we picked up Cuba meat, and we picked up a uh, small rock. And whatever we got from our item room, which I have already totally forgotten. I'm not sure what's wrong with my brain right now. We walked into the item Oh, it was the tarot cards, which gave us the sun card. So it's something that's not especially valuable uh, right away. But long term has the chance to, to really benefit us. We can't pick up that key just yet. Really wish I did not uh, go into this room now because Ultra Pride is a total pain in the dick and could really cause me to hemorrhage spirit hearts here. That being said, uh, you know, I've got decent damage and I did have a Book of Belial charge stored up, so I should be able to kill uh, Ultra Pride pretty quickly, hopefully. At least the one that creates the, uh, the creep. Uh, because that's going to be the one that is going to do the most damage to me, probably. Actually, I've taken zero damage so far, and another two hits might be enough to... Ah! I was so close to having a perfect fight against Ultra Pride. Oh, and then I took a, another total hit that was uh, really stupid there, but that's okay. It's because I got that range downgrade pill earlier, and I, I don't even want the red hand, honestly. or the, Sorry, the left hand. The red hand is like the Captain America faction, I think. I can't remember. Anyway, let's let's move onward, cause we, onwards, because we don't even have any bombs to help us out here. Um... Yeah, it's all because of that range down pill we got earlier. Uh, normally not that big of a deal, but on an enemy like that where you really want to keep your distance, uh, that is a, a smart decision to have as high range as possible. I guess it's almost always a smart decision to have as high range pos as possible. Unless you're dealing with Ipecac, I suppose, or uh, Cat of Nine Tails as well. Uh, or sorry, Cat of Nine Tails and Ipecac. Anyway, hopefully you understand what I'm getting at here. I think we're able to go to this boss trap room. With one full red heart, I, I, this is one of the benefits of playing as Judas. Uh, you know, there's a lot of negatives as well. We're getting a ton of spirit hearts, thank you, Miter. Uh, and the extra HP upgrade here is actually extraordinarily beneficial as, a, as well, because uh, this does open up basically every possible deal with the devil to us, uh, except for Guppy's Paw, which, you know, would still be open to us, but just largely bad in this situation. Uh, because, you know, we would trade one heart for Guppy's Paw, get three Spirit Hearts, and then get nothing else as a result. Actually, it might not be terrible, because we'd get the benefits of the permanent Polaroid invincibility. Uh, but let's, let's not worry about that too much right now. So let's take inventory of how we're doing. We have, uh, decent base damage, and rage, and good Spirit Hearts, and the Miter. Uh, is that gonna give us enough to, uh, and the Balls of Steel pill in the rotation is also amazing, but is that gonna give us enough to win? Potentially! Honestly, I would love to get rid of these two Red Hearts to pick up an, another high damage item. Ooh, you know what? I am going to pick up the blue candle. It has a tendency... I mean, I love Book of Belial, don't get me wrong. Blue candle it, it trumps it a little bit for me uh, for a couple of reasons in this situation. One of them is the defensive power of blue candle in, in that it will, um, you know, as you saw right there, it'll block shots. So this is going to be really important against Isaac and Blue Baby. Uh, beyond that... We can also use it multiple times per room. This does nullify the use of our battery, but, you know, I think I'd be a, a silly dude if I decided not to take a better item, or an item that I felt was better in the situation, just because we have another item that benefits the other one, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, so I'm, I'm pleased with this decision, uh, but we'll see if this ends up working out for us. The other thing was, uh, you know, the ability to use it multiple times per room, uh, and it's kind of, oh, another Balls of Steel pill, excellent. Uh, it's kind of like crowd control potential to kill multiple enemies at the same time, so... Uh, I, I'm not sure if this is going to be the right decision for us. I just, I have a, a hunch that it will be. We ended up actually picking up 10 cents there, which is going to set us up to potentially be able to uh, pick up some uh, better items from shops in the future. Well, not better, necessarily. Uh, now we actually don't want the 9-volt. We pr probably exclusively want map and compass from our shops. So, uh, in here we have the white feather, which is obviously a no-brainer to avoid, considering that I already got rid of one spirit hearts, uh, or sorry, one spacebar item in order to pick up a lump of coal. I guess, thanks to the battery, uh, the blue candle does end up recharging the slightest bit faster. I, I'm loath to use a bomb here, but sadly, that's okay. Uh, let's just back it up a little bit more. Oh, that was kind of close. Uh, we're going to drop another bomb on this. I don't think you can get two small rocks in the same run, which is unfortunate. 
You know what? Who dares wins? I thought it might be a smart idea to pop that open. I basically immediately regret that decision, but we're only at 15 cents, or we're at 17 cents, which is more than 15 cents, which means it's more than we necessarily need uh, to buy an item from a shop on the next floor. There we go, there's another tinted rock. It's hard to be mad when the game keeps floating me all these tinted rocks, but uh, I'm trying to think of what I could do here with this sun card. Like, what's, what's the most valuable use of this? Uh, and honestly, I, I keep coming back to possibly just using it as a... Um, map plus compass on a later floor because as of right now I like I want to get rid of my uh, my heart so I don't want to use those in the future I might not have them so I don't think full health is gonna benefit me all that much at all there's another tinted rock here now what is this Gertie this is the real question is this the Gertie that simply creates enemies if so how lucky are we because we have uh, the candle to take away these enemies tear them apart basically uh, but in addition to that we also have rage which is gonna allow us to do kind of a staggering amount of damage uh, to these enemies, or to Gertie himself, whenever I see fit. Okay, now, I don't want to kill the green nub. I want the green nub to survive and save me the use of a bomb. And it did! Fantastic! It actually also gave me a bomb in the midst of that as well. Uh, I will definitely pick up Cat of Nine Tails. I am still holding my breath that at some point we will come across a, uh, a mom's knife or a brimstone, or even a spirit of the night, all of which would benefit me greatly at this point. I'm just going to take a sip of my water as we prepare for the pink or white glitch to finish here. Alright, Curse of the Labyrinth, I'm not super pleased about because this does mean we're going to have one less shop than we would have if we did not have XL floors. On the other hand, it does mean uh, if we wanted to, if we get lucky, uh, we could finish this floor. Oh, I almost walked into that. We could finish this floor a little bit more quickly than you finish uh, your average floor just by way of using the compass here. The other thing is we do need uh, some extra keys right away. We might as well go to our shop. We're here. Had a feeling we'd be fighting greed. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a... Nostradamus. It, it, we haven't seen him so far, and we have a lot of money. It seems pretty logical that he would show up. So it's disappointing. That's the uh, the unspoken reason for why I thought this floor was kind of a pain in the ass as well. It is double floor, I should say. That being said, we did pick up a little extra money, which we can use to hopefully uh, pay off a judgment to giving us a good item a little bit later. As of right now, though, uh, we're, we're definitely a, a little bit bereft of keys, and I, I could use some of those in the future because I'm absolutely looking for... Uh, both item rooms to potentially, I don't know, what do I even want here? I, I don't necessarily want, okay, this is scary. I don't even necessarily want health at this point. That was a very good slash lucky shot. Uh, the reason I don't necessarily want health is because I want to subsist entirely on spirit hearts in the very, very near future. Oh my god, I fucking hate these rooms, man. Uh, I want to subsist entirely on spirit hearts in the very, very near future. So extra health doesn't necessarily benefit me. Extra damage, though, I will take that any day of the week. That went much better. If I had a, a ladder or something, I would absolutely pick up that spirit heart. As of right now, you know, I just mentioned the keys are kind of the, the bad part of our run right now. Do we have bombs? We have four bombs. That is enough to get some spirit hearts, hopefully, from this tinted rock and compensate for the fact that I haven't been getting my shit rocked by these rooms over and over and over. I, I still can't believe that we've only gotten one deal with the devil on this uh, run so far. Uh, because I actually, like, oh, there's another, like, three bombs there for free, basically, too. Um, I basically have been playing, on, on these boss rooms at least, I think I've been playing pretty well. Uh, the, there's been a couple of exceptions, and, you know, I, it's weird for me to say that after just getting my ass kicked on a couple of those, like, uh, mask and heart rooms. That being said, I kind of felt like I deserved another deal with the devil. I don't even necessarily need... Oh, this is a potentially great opportunity that I squandered there. I don't even necessarily need a, a mom's knife. Even just, like, anything. Any two-heart deal that provides me with a benefit is an easy sell in this situation. Okay, I'm in the fuck corridor, which scares the shit out of me. Um, like, a, a pact, a mark, anything like that is okay. Spirit of the Night, as I've mentioned a couple of times now, totally okay with. Um, but, and the reason I'm going to every room, by the way, is just to make sure that I uh, do indeed get the maximum number of opportunities to get keys the my god it, it's great just to see these like batteries popping off my dude's face because uh you know you, you see the battery whenever blue candle charges itself and you see it whenever the battery would charge as well man these guys are kicking my ass i'll probably be able to see my spirit heart soon that scares the shit out of me but the good news is necropolis xl floor there we go there's one key should be more difficult than the next floor and i don't see us dying here i would be surprised and remarkably disappointed if we ended up turning what was a, a fairly good run health-wise uh, into a death in the near future. Alright, sadly, we're totally out of places to go, and I continue to get hit by, like, spiders, which is basically unforgivable. We can indeed see our spirit hearts. I'm not happy about that. We probably lost, like, five or six so far over the course of this floor, which is really, really bad, but you don't need me to tell you that. Um, 
yeah, the, the light at the end of the tunnel here is that the next floor should not be as difficult as this floor unless there's something like really crazy going wrong here. So let's go over to the right, I guess. I'm looking for an item room. Uh, I'm not even like, I was thinking, what if we come across a, uh, a library? Would I go to the library? No, I wouldn't go to the library. Blue candle to me is probably the best item that we could get in this situation. Even a book of revelations doesn't like offer me as much value simply because um, a there's not that many rooms. Le oh fuck! There's not that many floors left for me to get a like a fourth level meat boy. I can get a third level meat boy if I get lucky. Uh, but beyond that, uh, oh, there's an arcade as well. That's actually pretty tempting. I think that's a balls of steel pill. This benefits me a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna play the blood bank twice just in the hopes that I get an, a, an HP plus speed upgrade. I guess we got a ton of money out of it anyway. Um, then we'll go fight the boss, the first boss, because it is Necropolis, so we'll fight one boss, then we'll leave, and then we'll fight another boss. This is the Sun card, which could benefit us in the future, or, uh, right away, you never know. It's gonna be Loki, that's good, I was, I was hoping we didn't fight War, because then I'd get the second level Meat Boy, and I'd feel like, you know, I wanted to get the third level Meat Boy, which of course you always do, but, uh, let's just play it cool here, so far so good. Loki is more than half dead. I really hate the spike on this fight, but, uh, you know, I guess that's why it was actually a, a very good thing to add. Otherwise, this fight would be super duper easy. Okay, we get an HP upgrade. I'm okay with that. We can always take two deals with the devil if we earn them. Uh, but we need to not get an XL floor, I guess, in the future. Uh, let us go... We still have a minimum item room on this floor, which is kind of crazy to me, but that's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll get more health. We'll go to the blood bank again at this point. It's not just the, the extra HP, which interests me, of course, and I, I've, I've talked about the, the double-edged sword of getting HP on, the, on where we are on this run uh, before. But it's also the, the speed upgrade would be a real benefit because, uh, you know, I did get that speed downgrade a little bit earlier. Lots of Tinted Rocks. I really can't complain about the fact that the game has been floating us a, a number of uh, Spirit Hearts by way of that. That one didn't end up working out that way, but it did end up giving us uh, some extra bombs, so I'm all right with that. Uh, my best friend is a pure garbage item. We sadly do not have any more keys to open up the next item room. Hopefully we will get lucky and be given a key at some point, maybe even by the champion or just the uh, standard uh, end on this room. Well, there's a chest. That could be it. Uh, there's also no other drop. There's another key. Okay, so I feel better about that. Uh, I'll pick up this money on the way back. You know, we're at the point where money is kind of uh, useless. It's not, you know, having money's not everything. Not having it is, as Kanye West said. We have money, so getting more doesn't really matter that much to us right now. And poison bombs, which is actually fairly beneficial for us in our situation. Okay, how do we do this? Uh, first things first, I think we go to the uh, the arcade. We abuse the fact that we have another two plays on this blood bank. Uh, and as a result of that, we uh, hopefully get the speed upgrade and the HP upgrade. And then we fight Mom, and we hopefully get a uh, deal with the Devil as a result of that. We take all the deals with the Devil, and we feel really good about ourselves going down on the next floor. Uh, apart from that, more realistically, get some extra money here from the Blood Bank, fight Mom, uh, get the Polaroid, and try to maintain survival as we move forward. I, we definitely have enough Spirit Hearts to kind of guarantee us survival a little bit longer. Uh, I, I hope it's longer than my pessimistic self is thinking it's going to be, but I definitely think we can get past Mom's heart at the very least. If we get past Mom's heart, I don't think it's uh, foolish to say that we have a pretty good chance uh, of getting past the Cathedral, especially if we maintain the uh, possibility of using this uh, Sun card, because by using the Sun card, obviously, I can see uh, exactly where I need to go on the Cathedral and the chest. Uh, and, you know, it could snowball out of control, you never know, in, in a good way for us. Keep in mind, I do have Rage as well, so, that, you know, the more of these enemies I kill on fights like these, uh, the more damage I will be doing. But that's not really going to help us on the Isaac and Blue Baby fights. Well, it'll help us on the Blue Baby fight, because Blue Baby spawns flies, but it won't help us at all on the Isaac fight. Took some damage there, but we did get a Tears upgrade, uh, as well as uh, the Spirit upgrade. Spirit Hearts, I should say. And you know what? With our health in its current situation, we actually do have permanent Polaroid invincibility, which is nice. Sadly, we do have the pink glitch here, so I am indeed taking an opportunity to just uh, rehydrate myself a little bit. And we shall see uh, what we deal with here. I hope this isn't an XL floor, because the temptation to use my um, sun card on this XL floor is going to be pretty enormous. Uh, it's the womb one, it says at the top. And, well, it's utero one once we actually get in, but... Uh, that's alright, I'm, I'm okay with this. I, I can deal with this floor without having to use my uh, sun card to basically be a makeshift map and compass. That's totally okay with me. I was hoping that would work out exactly as it did. There's still one left. I really hate these guys. Possibly my least favorite enemy. And, you know, we're, I, is it, it's my least favorite enemies to try to kill. They usually don't do very much damage to me. But, uh, you know, that puts them behind enemies like those little Mask of Infamies. Oh, Jesus, that was fast. 
Um, that being said, uh, they're probably one of the most annoying enemies to fight. If I had to go. One day we'll do a straw poll or something to make that up. Or to get definitive results for that, or as definitive as I can anyway. Okay, that ended up working out surprisingly well. Uh, remember, like, our base damage is okay. We also have good rate of fire. Do we know what this pill does? No. Let's take it. Didn't do anything. I'm happy we took it then. We, it might, you might say, oh, that pill didn't do anything. Well, it, that's true, but it did give us some information, and information is valuable in the Binding of Isaac. We are just basically bum-rushing uh, the terminals. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. Uh, basically, we're just going to run to the exit because, uh, oh, we're definitely going to get hit there. Uh, the closer we get to the exit, the more likely we are to uh, find these boss rooms. And, you know, if we waste our time going to, like, fringe kind of branches, uh, we're, we're going to take longer to get to the boss. Whereas if we run straight for the exit, uh, that's not likely to happen. So, who do I want to fight as a boss here? As usual, uh, the Fallen seems like a pretty awesome choice because it could potentially give me a, a really amazing item. Uh, but we can't have any, or can't exert any control over that. That is really dumb damage to take that I should not be taking. But, this is still definitely easier than the, uh, the four that we just finished. Oh my god, even if I am taking a Spirit Heart per room of damage, that's fucking bad. As You don't need me to tell you that, but, uh, yeah, it, it's not going fantastically for us on a dodging standpoint here. Which is totally my fault, but uh, let's just let the meat boy destroy him. Good, good, let the meat flow through you. Uh, I shouldn't have picked that up, actually. I'm actually kind of pissed off at myself for just uh, out of instinct picking up that, that uh, half red heart, because now I don't have permanent Polaroid invincibility anymore, which was actually one of my uh, you know major contributing factors to not being more dead than I am right now. That being said... This is a major floor for uh, basically one big reason, and that's, well, you could say one big reason, one slightly big reason. The slightly big reason is we still have one more item by way of our next boss that could, you know, turn things around for us. I should really use uh, just tears to attack these guys, because the blue candle is getting my ass kicked. Uh, oh, that is excellent. Thank you very much, Red Chest. But the really big thing is the potential for a deal with the devil. Now, I have not been playing up to the standard that would normally make me feel very confident about getting that deal with the devil. Uh, but I think it only affect, it only matters how you do on the boss room, largely. Having gone to another deal with the devil uh, makes it more likely for me to get a deal with the devil, I think. There's other factors that actually contribute to the odds of you getting a deal with the devil as well. Uh, one of them, which you might not consider at first, is that uh, if you blow up a judgment, you actually get like a plus 25% chance of getting a deal with the devil. That's what I've read on the wiki anyway, from you know the few times that I've been on the wiki. Uh, which is kind of interesting, and uh, gives you some incentive to blow up Judgment, but at the same time, if you have the money, getting a free item off Judgment oftentimes is a better value proposition than having to pay for an item from a deal with the devil, which you might not even necessarily get. It's just a decent chance of it. So, one more of those should do it. Uh, this has got to be our way to the boss room. Oh, I can't believe that these guys get me every time. Uh, this has got to be our way to the boss room. I, I really can't imagine it being up and on the left side there, or, you know, slightly left. Uh, what boss do I not want to fight? Mask of Infamy would be a real pain in the ass. I'm not even sure if you can fight Mask of Infamy on Utero 1. Uh, but we shall see as we come a little bit closer to what I imagine is the exit here. Uh, obviously these rooms fairly easy for me to just deal with. Uh, we are finally at our boss room. Fantastic. And now keep in mind, again, we do have other advantages here that make this room a little bit easier. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to mention earlier is, like, taking the candle over Book of Belial means... Good, okay, uh, you know what, I can fight Champion Bloat, he's gonna be a pain in the dick, but that's fine. Uh, one of the other things that makes it beneficial for us, this Champion Bloat creates creep in all sides? That's a real pain in the ass, Champion Bloat. Like, he creates long distance creep, I've never seen that before. Well, I've totally seen it before, but I forgot. Um, play it cool here, don't get hit by the laser. This is a, a really scary boss fight, actually. I, I'm not surprised that I'm taking damage here. Uh, like, that long-distance creep is out of control. I don't like that at all. Um, we did not earn a deal with the devil, but we did get a speed upgrade and a uh, spirit heart. I totally forgot I was going to say, but oh yes! Uh, with rage and the blue candle, that makes it preferable to Book of Belial for me because uh, I can... Well, you know, at this point, we might as well take this half heart. But uh, I can build the rage without ha requiring the use of my base damage, which is oftentimes a little bit low. Uh, it's actually okay in our current situation, but uh, oftentimes a little bit low. Uh, I'm not picking up that spirit heart, or sorry, that red heart, because it doesn't matter. The, oh, yep, yeah, definitely going to take some damage here. It's not necessarily the end of the world. We could get back to, oh, no, we can't get back to permanent Polaroid invincibility, because uh, they're going to take my spirit hearts, of course, instead of taking my uh, regular hearts. Chariot card, probably valuable, but we're going to stick with the sun card instead. If we can get to the Isaac fight, 
I think with this amount of health, we can swing it. You know, we can make it work. We do have a speed upgrade now, so we should be able, hopefully, to get out of this room without taking damage. Uh, especially if we continue getting them in, like, a fuck corridor like that. I probably got pretty lucky with them not coming through. Ah, he still managed to get me, but he dropped a pill. The pill could be health up. It's speed up. That's actually, actually more valuable than health up in this situation, if I had to say. Remember, you know, my, my standard statement, anytime you are able to beat moms hard, that represents like a pseudo-successful run, at the very least. Uh, and I think we're going to be at that point, but, uh, you know, given previous form, it's not tempting enough, because I want to save these just in case, this key, uh, just in case we get to the chest. Um, with our previous form in mind, I would very much love to, uh, you know, be able to, at the very least, beat Isaac, but that might not be uh, in the cards for us. Cat, I'm going to need you to get away from the monitor. I'm having a very... Uh, Knockdown, down drag out fight with a Gertie Jr. right now. That was uh, kind of close. Almost picked up the tick right there, uh, which would have obviously been pretty disappointing given the fact that we would love to succeed on this run. Uh, I guess we will just spam ourselves over to the left there because without it, um, or, you know, without knowing where the boss room is, we can still be fairly confident that it's not on the right side uh, unless it's in that little nub that's jutting out there, but that's a, a pretty rare circumstance. Cat just splashed in my water cup. And then, like, ricocheted all the water on his paw right off of my face. What a nice dude. It's the Binding of Isaac, not the Binding of Katzik. I don't know, I tried. The Binding of Icat. The Binding of the Feline of Isaac? I don't know. Let it percolate for a little bit. Maybe we'll get something better in the future. Alright, so let's just keep murdering these dudes. I definitely should not have walked into him, but I really thought that uh, just by keeping him in my range... Oh my god, I'm taking a very, very silly amount of damage right now. I should not be ta taking hits on this room is the most important thing to keep in note here. Okay, so we have a an arcade, which doesn't provide me with basically any benefit at all. I'm really going to need you to stop hanging out around those F keys, Ruka. Uh, because if you hit F10, it's going to stop the recording and I'm going to be real angry. So I'm going to put you over here on this chair. And you're going to be happy to be there. Okay, sorry about that. You know, d d Duty calls, I suppose. Uh, let's just destroy these hearts. Oh, that was real shitty damage. It, it might seem like I'm taking this damage. I can understand people being like, oh, he's faking the damage. I'm really not. I'm, I'm doing my best to, to not die here, but uh, I'm getting my ass kicked as a result. Uh, let us hopefully... Oh, that was a little scary. Champion should die, yeah. Um, the, the mom's heart boss fight should not be a problem with the, the fact that we're building a ton of rage damage. Uh, but beyond that, we also have, you know, 23 bombs that do poison damage, and the blue candle is really good at crowd control on Mom's Heart as well. Uh, that being said, you know, stranger things have happened than losing here, and we can almost guarantee ourselves a loss, even if we don't lose directly against Mom's Heart. Um, we could kind of fuck ourselves over a little bit uh, by finding ourselves in a position where, you know, we take too much damage against Mom's Heart, which, in effect, uh, gives us less damage that we can, or less damage that we can sustain on the, uh, Cathedral, which makes us more likely to die in the long run. Anyway, as you can see, easy boss fight here. Barely even using my tears until just now. We're just gonna uh, back it up. Can't believe I didn't take damage there. Don't want to get too close to her, just because the creep could end up uh, ruining my day a little bit. And the blue candle should be enough. Fantastic. We actually do get a deal with the devil, but this is just uh, to go down to Shoal. Which is probably a prudent decision at this point, because Shoal probably gives us a substantially greater chance of surviving. Uh, and maybe even having a good run here, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go straight through the, through to the cathedral, because where's the fun in, in just skipping over, uh, half of the nonsense in the game? Even if it is crazy difficult. Uh, now we're gonna have to really ab abuse our, uh, I don't know, wits, I suppose, would be one way to put it, but luck is another way. Uh, we're gonna go to the secret room now that we have used the, uh, Sun card here, and the sun card is one of those things where I, I hesitated on how to use it because with three heart containers, it now might actually be valuable uh, to use it as like a full health giver. But uh, I, I decided, you know, the, the map plus compass combination was probably better for us, uh, and I was pr that probably represents more than three hearts uh, worth of value, uh, if I had to guess. Anyway, I don't have any anything to back that up, and of course, it depends how I do on these rooms, but. Uh, would I, I might have gone this way in general anyway. I mean, uh, you, you could be forgiven for thinking that. That was actually really excellent. So, you know, I usually go to the right or the left right off the bat. Those are pretty much the only two options, so that makes sense. But, um... I, I, so maybe the, the map, or maybe using the, the sun card as a map plus compass was totally worthless. But, uh, you know, better safe than sorry in this situation. 
We actually are amassing a little bit of health, which is kind of surprising. Of course, this could all go down the drain pretty quickly uh, if I end up, you know, taking a ton of damage against these low keys or something. But uh, for now, pretty pleased with the way that this room is gone, and I don't anticipate uh, that a couple of bomb flies are really gonna uh, put too much of a, a damper on me. Now, I believe that these bomb flies actually do explode uh, with poison because I got that poison bomb effect. Uh, I took some damage there. That's okay, though. I really would love to have permanent Polaroid invincibility at this point. Uh, but, of course, you know, you can't always get what you want. That should kill him. Just kind of hoping for a little bit of a, a Spirit Heart jolt there. We are going to get to Isaac, and considering we're fighting the Widow right now, I would be very surprised if we do if we ended up losing more health. And we didn't. See? No stress at all. Uh, so, this is basically the amount of health where I said we, we could potentially beat Isaac here with this amount of health. Uh, the, the crux of it uh, is not doing what I did right there. Uh, which was not having the candle ready. You know, we do have poison bombs in this situation. We should make sure to abuse them uh, and then just run around a little bit. In fact, poison bombs might actually be the most beneficial tool that we have at our disposal. So if I can just kind of neutralize him like this and continually run around in circles uh, while dropping poison bombs, this might work. Remember, like, the reason I'm doing this right now, and you might be saying you're real silly about this, you might be right, but uh, at the same time, there's not that much point in me firing tears at him right away because we don't have any rage built up at all. I still have two hits, we're on the third phase. Now, tears may become beneficial uh, because we have uh, angel fetuses that we can build rage off of, but until then, you know, my damage was not strong enough to really justify it, in my opinion, at least. So we got to be flexible for the remainder of this boss fight. Uh, the next hit bit of damage that we take is obviously the most important because that dictates... Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Now we're going to be uh, up against it here. Please just kill him via poison. Oh, it was real close. Uh, okay, he's dead. He didn't drop any hearts, which is very rare. But we are going to, at the very least, get down to the chest. So that was... It's not over yet. Oh, shit, he got real close. Um, it, It's not over yet. We shouldn't be talking like it's over. Uh, but this has been an adequate run, at the very least, I would say. Book of Shadows, Ghost Baby. Well, uh, we absolutely have to take Book of Shadows in the next room. Otherwise, we're going to die for sure. I probably would have just walked into that. Um, yeah, so we're going we're gonna to take Book of Shadows in here and just kind of hang out, drop like some fat bombs around all these dudes uh, in the hopes of killing them. I, I, I might still end up dying. Book of Shadows is going to run out, you know, before forever. Uh, and What did I get hit by there? What did I get hit by there? I got hit by a dragonfly, the moonlight butterfly from Dark Souls. In any case, we gave it the old college try there. That was a lot of fun. Uh, but I ended up losing, so we'll, we'll probably do one more vanilla run, then we'll move on to a challenge run in the future. But as always, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to continue suggesting your challenge runs. I will do the ones I deem most entertaining or appropriate, and as always, I will see you next time.